there's been some real great success stories. So Mango Mathiang is uh, over, over in um, the States at uh, Louisville playing Division One basketball and who knows, look, you know, a professional career in basketball probably awaits that, uh, that young man. Manguk Mathia is called Mango. Uh, he's a starting setter at Louisville University. We had him here, you know, playing juniors with us and he was training with us. He went there in 2010 to the States. There's a coach there that I know, so I sent him over there. For a person that really played footy all his life and uh, to just basically just come into a family, not even just a community, it's a family. And uh, for me to just come to a team that just welcomed me with open arms. And when I tell you I was terrible when I was younger, I was like horrible at basketball. But, you know, Coach Manny kept with it and, uh, you know, he stayed with me. And then now it's like, you know, I'm fulfilling my dreams. And it's so crazy. It's like I'm playing at the highest levels there is in basketball. And, uh, you know, it's great. And, you know, uh, just want to thank, you know, the Longhorns brothership, the Longhorns family, the Longhorns community. Uh, I know back then it was kind of small, but now it's getting bigger. I see a lot of talented kids coming up, and please don't take this as a, you know, don't, don't take it as a joke. This is an advantage. You know, we started off here, uh, Dang Adele and myself, you know, we down playing in Louisville right now, and it's amazing. Like, before we even started playing basketball, we was never even, that would have never came through our mind we are going to be playing in Louisville, and it's great. Uh, you know, I want to thank my moms, you know, she kept with me. Uh, those little pocket change and paying five dollars to play at Request and MSAC and all of that, hey, that comes that comes in very good help. Uh, you know, don't take it as an advantage. Uh, our parents are doing a great job. You know, they're doing a really great job. And as you can see, like there's a lot of kids that are messing up. You know, on the street doing something crazy. But this basketball thing could make you a very successful man, even if you're not successful in basketball itself, but in life. It teaches you a whole lot of lessons. Uh, you know, just what I want to say is just keep working, uh, just keep fighting, and you know, there's going to be bad days and there's going to be great days. But once you know you got a goal, just keep chasing that goal. Keep chasing that goal, and it's hard work is paid off. Hard work is paid off. And there's no doubt in my mind, no matter what type of work you put in, you wake up at 4 in the morning and you're from Werribee and you got to go all the way to MSAC at like 6 a.m or you from east side and you gotta come all the way to west side, it pays off, you feel me? So just keep at it and uh, you know, hopefully one day you'll be at you know, a place like me and Dengadel or maybe places that are way bigger than what we are. Appreciate it, have a goodie.